Well, good morning, everybody. Al here from BC Extreme Outdoorsman. Here I am at the range again. Next week, and I have a match. And uh, a while ago, I ordered a new chassis from MDT, and it just came in yesterday. So I had to tear apart the old chassis, put the new chassis together, and install the barreled action into it. So I'm here at the range today to check the zero on the rifle. There it is there. That's the new MDT ACC Elite chassis. Filled the forehand full of weights. It's balanced very well. I'll show you more pictures of it later. And then I took my 6.5 Creedmoor and I put it in the old ACC chassis. And then I also have my 338 Lapua here. I'm going to take some shots with it. I haven't shot that since moose hunting. Didn't clean it or anything, just put it away and that's how it sit, sat and decided to bring it out today and just uh, once again, just for peace of mind, check the cold bore and uh, see how it fared out after bouncing around an ATV and on my back and on my back for the last, uh, for three weeks before, and bouncing in the boat as well before putting it away. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to get the ACC Elite chassis and that has a six millimeter Creedmoor into it, zeroed at 100 meters and uh, then it'll be ready for next weekend. And then I'll shoot the 6.5, I'll get that zeroed, and then I'll have some fun with the 3.38, and I'll take you guys along. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone, here's the chassis. Pretty sweet. This color is called titanium blue. I ordered it back in November, but uh, these are very, very popular chassis, and if you don't get one when they're in stock, then they go on back order. MGT is a great company, and they work very hard to get your stuff quick and uh, the customer service is amazing. And so some of the features on this, it's got a removable spacer back here. My length of pull from here to here is 13 inches and that's the same as it was on my other rifles. Uh, integrated uh, Arca rail, QD attachments, two in the front, two in the back, toolless adjustment, I just unscrew this. I don't know if I can do it with one hand here. Push it in, oops. Push it in and lift up, and there you go. And then under here you got two uh, Allen key, well one Allen key, one torque. Torx, push it in, push it back down. Same adjustment in the back here to adjust your butt pad height. You have to undo this, this, and that one as well, and slide it up where you want. But the length of pull is adjustable with the same quick uh, release as the cheek rest. I put in the gummies here. Uh, this is a fully adjustable, far or forward and back, and you can tilt it a little bit. It's got the bar here. Two thumb rests that you can customize for angle, forward or back, so you get the perfect 90 degree trigger pull. It does come with four, or actually came with six uh, little uh, dowels that fit in here to make your mag tighter, but mine seem to be okay. I'm going to check the feeding here right now. Uh, lots of M-lock attachments. I put internal weights all the way in the bottom. She's balanced right about here on a barricade. Other than that, not much else to say. Oh, this is adjustable here. Your, your magazine release is adjustable. It has a hole in the bottom of the trigger guard here so you can adjust your trigger without having to take it out of the chassis. Uh, it's actually written where on your action screws go on the chassis at 65 inch pounds, which is nice because sometimes you forget. Other than that, it's time to check the zero on this. And then next weekend, I have two matches. Time to shoot. First shot with this new chassis.
Okay, looks like I gotta come over, just a couple tents, and then uh, elevation's good. I just gotta come over one to the left. Maybe up a tenth. Okay, it's the first time me taking a shot off a barricade. You can see it's nice and balanced. So I'm going to take a shot here at 503 meters. Very minimal wind. I think I'll just hold like a little left. This thing here feels very stable. See if I can get an impact. I think I just nicked it. Just nicked it. I will take another one. I can actually see where it went in the snow. Impact. So yeah, this thing feels pretty nice. I'm gonna take one more, maybe kneeling. Very nice. Okay, so in my books, this thing's ready to go. It took me, I didn't even really have to change the zero. All I changed was uh, I had to go to the left one tenth. Uh, vertical was good, so yeah. Here's my new match gun for the 2024 season. Okay, now I'm gonna Zero the 6.5, hopefully I can do that quickly. I didn't bring much ammo. And then uh, 3.38 time, guys. Okay, everyone, I got the 3.38 Lapua here. I'm gonna shoot fully standing off a tripod. I have not shot this gun since last hunting season. I haven't cleaned it, haven't done anything to it. I did check the bore to make sure there was no obstructions. And that looks good. My dial-up Kestrel says 2.7. I've dialed 2.7, so... Uh, this is not the ball head I would usually use. I would always use this tripod though. It's not really 100% stable, but I shot my moose last year at 435 meters off this tripod. Different. Hey everybody, let's take a shot. I got this thing all adjusted now. 503 off a tripod standing with a 338. impact so it's very doable shooting this thing off a tripod I don't think it moved it might have moved I think it did move a bit we'll know in the video but uh, maybe I'll try 700 meters and see how that goes okay everyone I am gonna take a shot here at 700 meters 14 inch target standing off a tripod with a 338 Lapua now, <laughs> I have to get very lucky to hit this, but <laughs> impact. There you go. That just shows you what you can do with the 338 Lapua standing on a tripod. It works. First round shot at 700 and it was a first round impact. Okay everyone, I am going to take a shot here at 500 meters. This will be my last shot of the day. Uh, 338 Lapua standing off a tripod. Two point six is my dial up. Five hundred and three meters. Impact. Lightweight three thirty eight Lapua weighs just about ten pounds, a little bit under ten. 
and off a tripod. Uh, some guys tell me that, why would I want a lightweight 338? Well, this thing with the, the way this chassis works, the way that brake works, it uh, recoils very forgiving. It's really nice to shoot. I could shoot this thing all day. So thanks for watching everybody. Please like, subscribe, hit the notifications button and we'll talk soon and take care and be safe everyone.